This is a game that came out on Steam recently. Shogun Showdown on Steam. The art looks really nice. And you can download a demo for free uh, to play. He has put it up like just a couple of days ago. And the cool thing about this game is that it's first of all it's pixel art. And second of all, it looks like a single person made this game. And what I really like about the game, you could see, you saw it right here. Is this map. Let's get a better shot. You remember the old Mario games? Where you could go like up here or up here. Like you had a little bit more options than what you have here. But you remember the old Mario games where you could choose where to go next? This gives me flashbacks to those times. Very good old times, man. And so I got very excited, especially for this map. And so I opened up the game and I wanted to see how this map is done. And if you look carefully, this map is animated. And so using our power as programmers, I checked out how he was drawing the game in RenderDoc. You know, and it's, it, it starts normally, you know, he does the parallax menu drawing blah 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 then he does some he adds in some some fog or i don't know what you call this like this fog of war thing so these are essentially textures like this that are gradients and then it looks like they fade up which looks very cool he does that on multiple layers and then the map which I find most interesting. Maybe that is also interesting. How the this curtain effect is done. It seems to be just a quad that is drawn and rotated. No, it's not even rotated. It's just a straight line. So he just draws a couple of these quads towards the middle. Which is very cool looking. And then as we get to the map. This is the map. And the input for the map is actually a texture that is repeating the entire map four times, making a circular animation. For example, if you look closely right here, there's like an outline that is two pixels thick. Then as you go further down, the next image is an outline which is one pixel thick. And so what he achieves by this is like a wave. It's, it's waves. He has to draw the entire image four times for this. But it looks really cool. And then you can also animate these waves in a 4x4 four four, in a uh, image that repeats four times. The waypoints are just drawn on top. And the clouds are also just drawn on top. The shadows and then the clouds. Very cool. Yeah, and I really like that. Uh, this game is really cool. I inspected how it's rendered. And uh, I think... If you want to learn some how some games do certain effects... Like, don't steal the art, of course. But RenderDoc is a very good tool. It will help you grow. And learn how certain things can be done. And I think as a game developer, you should use it as a tool. Not to enrich yourself, but to learn.